Okay, guys, this class is a suspension high-low class. So we'll have our suspension cables anchored high. We'll also have them anchored low for the next bunch of exercises. For this segment, I want you guys to connect your suspension kit to a high anchor point. I want you guys to watch me. All right, guys, I've got another tough one for you. So what we'll do from here, I'm going to get into my push-up position. So we're going to work a renegade push-up from here. Once I come up, I'm going to go atomic crunch on one side and then the other side. Just like that. Your turn. Guys, I'm going to do this with you. Let's go. So you can see the knees are staying together for this one. And I'm just working them right through. You guys keeping up? Let's keep going. One last rep, let's go. And you're done. Okay guys, we're gonna stir the pot for this next exercise. So I'm going to start with my nice triangle base. So I've got weight on both my elbows and my fists as well. So I'm creating a nice sturdy base. I'm going to lift right up from here. And we're going to stir the pot. So we're going to work one direction for five reps. And then we're going to change it. And work the other direction for five reps as well. We're going to alternate every five repetitions. Your turn. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's go. So you guys can see as Marilyn's doing this exercise, when she's going into the tuck component, she's raising her hip right up. And then when she's getting into that plank component, she's nice and flat. So you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Now, the other thing to be conscious of is make sure your knees are staying together the whole time. The knees don't leave each other at all. We're doing really, really well. We're about halfway. Let's keep going. So, just remembering to change every five repetitions. Now, you want to make sure when you're flattening out into your plank, you don't arch your back up. You want to make sure you're protecting your back the whole time. Let's keep working. We've got two more reps, Marilyn. One and two. You're done. Okay, guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Guys, I'm going to do this with you. Let's go. So you can see the knees are staying together for this one. And I'm just working them right through. You guys keeping up? Let's keep going. One last rep. Let's go. And you're done.
All right, guys, let's get started. Let's go. So you guys can see as Marilyn's doing this exercise, when she's going into the tuck component, she's raising her hip right up. And then when she's getting into that plank component, she's nice and flat. So you guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. Now the other thing to be conscious of is make sure your knees are staying together the whole time. The knees don't leave each other at all. We're doing really, really well. We're about halfway, let's keep going. So just remembering to change every five repetitions. Now, you want to make sure when you're flattening out into your plank, you don't arch your back up. You want to make sure you're protecting your back the whole time. Let's keep working. We've got two more reps, Marilyn. One and two. You're done. Okay, guys, here's a tough one coming up. Let's set up first. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to get myself set so that I've got, so I can extend out with both legs just like that. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to crouch down and do a light push up with it and straight back out into that extended position. One more. So crouch down and extend back out. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into it. Good, so you guys can see Adriana's crouching right down. And then when you're extending out, you're extending the arms and the legs. So we're gonna hit everything at the same time. Perfect, good. Let's keep them going. Now you might start to really sort of suffer in the shoulders with this one and you'll probably end up just shortening your push-ups. I want to try and keep it as full range as you can, but if you have to shorten it just to make ends meet, it's okay. Do what you've got to do. Let's keep it going. We've got 10 more seconds on this side and then we're going to take a five second break and we're going to change legs over, okay? We're going to go over to the other leg. Give me one more rep after this, Adriana. Excellent. Let's change over now. Okay guys, we've switched over to the other side now. So you're using your other leg. We're gonna keep it going. Now we wanna crouch right down, pull this knee through, perfect. Extend all the way out, that's it. So getting into a full crouch, so into a tight box if you like, and then we're gonna extend right out um, both, both, both ends of it. So you wanna go the full distance with that one. Okay, let's keep them going. Got around 15 seconds left on this one. Good, you guys can see Adriana starting to struggle a little bit. You guys will too. Let's keep it going. We're nearly there. We've got two more reps. Okay, give me one last one. And we're done. Okay, guys, we're going to work our chest press and we're going to work uh, some chest flies into it. I want you guys to watch me. So from here, Chest press, and straight into a chest fly. Okay, you can see I'm keeping my elbows out on these chest presses. Your turn. I'm going to work in with you guys on this one. So important thing with the chest press, where your elbow goes, your wrist follows. So you can see nice perpendicular line um, up against my body, okay? And then when I'm doing my chest flies, I'm going to hit a T and I'm going to work my way back just there. Now, we can make it harder or we can make it easier simply by walking forward or walking back. So if I go back, if I do it from here, it's going to be harder. Now if I want to ease off on it, I can step forward. I'm going to keep going. So you guys figure out where the right spot is for you and work through it. Last rep.
time. Okay guys, we're gonna work an abs rollout and then we're gonna extend it to a full range angel wing for this one. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll out and from here I'm gonna go to my angel wings and then I'm gonna keep going. Finish out my hips. And this is your rest point between your reps. Let's go for one more rep. get you guys to have a go. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this with you, let's go. So, you can see I'm putting some pauses in there. So you get your rest down here, and then you're working for the rest of the um, exercise. Now the hardest point is right here, that's the hardest point right there. And you can see once I extend out my arms are staying soft straight, I'm not bending my elbows, I'm keeping it soft straight the whole range. The other thing to note is as I roll out, watch, my body doesn't move, so once I'm here, that's it, I'm in place. My body doesn't move anymore. Maintaining that same angle. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. All right guys, I'm gonna work in with you guys on this one. So important thing with the chest press, where your elbow goes, your wrist follows. So you can see nice perpendicular line um, up against my body, okay? And then when I'm doing my chest flies, I'm gonna hit a T and I'm gonna work my way back just there. Now, we can make it harder or we can make it easier simply by walking forward or walking back. So if I go back, if I do it from here, it's gonna be harder. Now if I wanna ease off on it, I can step forward. I'm gonna keep going. So you guys figure out where the right spot is for you and work through it. Last rep. And time. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this with you, let's go. So, you can see I'm putting some pauses in there. So you get your rest down here, and then you're working for the rest of the um, exercise. Now the hardest point is right here, that's the hardest point right there. And you can see once I extend out, my arms are staying soft straight. I'm not bending my elbows, I'm keeping it soft straight the whole range. The other thing to note is as I roll out, watch, my body doesn't move. So once I'm here, that's it, I'm in place. My body doesn't move anymore. Maintaining that same angle. One last rep. Okay, a two in one exercise for this one guys. So what we'll do from here, I'm gonna go into a T row. 
once I hit my T row, I'm going to go into a W rotator. Now I'm going to finish my move and then I'm going to finish off my T row. So it looks like this. Your turn to try it. Okay guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Adriana's hitting that T-row, her elbows are nice and high. So it's a nice line straight across. And then what we've got is we've got 90 degrees of movement as far as the rotation is concerned. So just here and finishing off resting at that point before you hit your next rep. Okay, so let's keep concentrating on that rotation. Perfect, right there, and keep them going. Now, you wanna make sure you're not breaching your body either, so let's try and keep a nice straight line so you've got your core active the whole time. We've got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Okay guys, we're rolling two exercises into one for this one. Now, have a look. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to roll a reverse fly into a chest hug, just like this. Now, I want to make sure I'm keeping my arms as soft straight as possible throughout the movement until I wrap that hug around, just like that. Okay, let's get you guys to have a go at this one now. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see Adriana's alternating between right and left as far as which arm is on top when you do your um, chest hugs. Let's keep working through those. You can also see she's not breaching at all. She's keeping a nice straight line from her ankle to her shoulder throughout the And time. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Adriana's hitting that T-row, her elbows are nice and high. So it's a nice line straight across. And then what we've got is we've got 90 degrees of movement as far as the rotation is concerned. So just here and finishing off resting at that point before you hit your next rep. Okay, so let's keep concentrating on that rotation. Perfect, right there and keep them going. Now, you want to make sure you're not breaching your body either, so let's try and keep a nice straight line so you've got your core active the whole time. We've got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see Adriana's alternating between right and left as far as which arm is on top when you do your um, chest hugs. Let's keep working through those. You can also see she's not breaching at all. She's keeping a nice straight line from her ankle to her shoulder throughout the entire set. So you guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. Um, one thing I want you guys to watch out for is make sure as you start to tire, don't break your form as far as your wrist is concerned. You've got to keep your wrist nice and straight. So you can see Adriana's doing it perfectly. So squeezing right out on those reverse flies and 
giving yourself a nice big hug on the way in, just like that. Let's go for one last repetition. And time. Okay guys, we're gonna work some ball of foot squats for this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get onto the ball of my foot. I'm gonna start off in my abs roll out position right here. I'm gonna drop down into a squat. I'm gonna push at 45 degrees and go back up to my um, abs roll out position. Just like that. Your turn. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. Go. So you guys can see a nice 45 degree line. That's exactly what uh, Marilyn's hitting. And then you can see right at the top, she's finishing with a straight line from her ankle all the way to her hand. That's the perfect ab roll out. That's how you want to do it. So drop right down and pick it right up. Now you can also see, um, again, she looks like she's wearing a set of stilettos. Basically what's happening here is she's staying right onto the ball of the foot and she's not allowing the heels to come down at all. You want to do it the same way. Good, plenty of tension right at the top so the abs completely engage once she hits that top um, line. Okay, give me three more reps, Marilyn. That's one, two, take your time. Excellent, time. Okay guys, we're gonna do some uh, Bulgarian lunges for this one, but we're gonna do a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna touch the floor. So this is forcing me to extend right out. And then as I come up, I'm gonna go into a slow knee strike right there. So in, out, just like that. Your turn. Okay guys, let's go, let's get into those Bulgarian lunges, go. So dropping right down, touching the floor, find your balance, get that knee raise, nice and slow. Nice steady motion. So it's just a bit of a twist on your basic Bulgarian lunge. Good, what we wanna try and do on the way up is try and get that knee as high as you can get it. Take your time, nice and slow, perfect, let's keep them going. Touch and lift. So we're going to go for another 15 seconds and then we're going to take five seconds to change over and go the other leg. And one more rep and change them over now. Let's get started on the other side. Go. So you guys can see nice steady motion, you want to keep it the same way. Don't speed it up as you tire. But you'll find after a little while, your balance will start to improve, your stabilizers will learn to adjust. We've got 15 seconds left on this side. One last one. And time. Okay guys, for this next segment, we're gonna take our bow suspension kit and we're gonna anchor it low. I want you guys to watch me. Okay guys, for this one, we're gonna work some lunges we're going to throw in some calves raises as well. I want you guys to watch. I'm going to drop into a lunge. I'm going to come forward, straight into a calves raise. And then I'm going to alternate. I'm going to hit the other side, back up, just there. One last one. And your turn. Okay, let's get into those. So 
you guys can see, soft straight arms the whole time. So there's no rowing in this move. And nice long lunge. Everything's nice and square. Toes are not pointing out. Toes are pointing forward the way they should be. Um, weight staying on the front leg and bottom legs almost touching the floor. And we're making sure we're keeping a vertical body as we do it. I'm gonna tighten up, finish into that straight line, perfect. And keep working. We've got five more reps left. Push them through, you're doing a good job, Sarah. Four more. Three more. And you can see Sarah's hitting that little pause at the top of the calves raise. And time. Okay guys, we're gonna work the isometric chair from, for this uh, exercise. Watch me, I'm gonna drop right down into the chair just like that. I'm gonna hold this position. I'm gonna hold it for 45 seconds, just like that. Your turn. Go into that isometric chair, guys, and let's hold. I'm gonna do this one with you guys. So you can see um, vertical line from my ankle to my knee, horizontal line from my knee to my hip, and vertical line again from my hip all the way to my shoulders. I'm gonna maintain this, I'm gonna hold this position. Now, isometric exercises burn a lot more um, calories than isotonic exercises, because your body's not used to holding your muscle tight for a prolonged uh, period. Generally, you're pushing or pulling. Um, you're going to start to shake up on this one. You're going to probably see me shake up a little bit as well. That's fine. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. So let's keep that position. Let's maintain. Nice, difficult exercise, even though we're not doing anything. Five seconds left on this one. Three, two, one. Have a rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into those. So you guys can see soft straight arms the whole time. So there's no rowing in this move. And nice long lunge. Everything's nice and square. Toes are not pointing out, toes are pointing forward the way they should be. Um, weight staying on the front leg and bottom legs almost touching the floor. And we're making sure we're keeping a vertical body as we do it. I'm gonna tighten up, finish into that straight line, perfect. And keep working. We've got five more reps left. Push them through, you're doing a good job, Sarah. Four more. Three more. And you can see Sarah's hitting that little pause at the top of the calves raise. And time. Go into that isometric chair, guys, and let's hold. I'm gonna do this one with you guys. So you can see um, vertical line from my ankle to my knee, horizontal line from my knee to my hip, and vertical line again from my hip all the way to my shoulders. I'm gonna maintain this, I'm gonna hold this position. Now, isometric exercises burn a lot more um, calories than isotonic exercises, because your body's not used to holding your muscle tight for a prolonged uh, period. Generally, you're pushing or pulling. Um, you're going to start to shake up on this one. You're going to probably see me shake up a little bit as well. That's fine. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. So let's keep that position. Let's maintain. Nice, difficult exercise, even though we're not doing anything. Five seconds left on this one. Three, two, one. Have a rest. Okay guys, for this exercise, we're gonna work some tucks. I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. So I'm gonna set myself up, arms up just like that, together, supported, fit right out. And I'm gonna push into my tuck 
and straight back out. I'm going to try and lift my hip right off the ground, just like that. One more rep. And your turn. Okay, Christina, let's get into them. Excellent. So you can see Christina's toes are pointing out. She's pushing right out, straightening the knees right out there. So there's full tension on the abs. And we're going to work right back, get a nice heavy crunch in by lifting the hips and going back. Perfect. Let's keep it going. We've got 20 seconds left. The important thing with this one, make sure your knees are staying together, feet are staying together the whole time. And we're going to crunch right in, try and get our knees to our chest. We're going to extend right out. One more rep. And we're done. Okay, we're going to work some hips raise for this next exercise. I want you guys to watch. I'm going to set myself right up, arms back in that vertical position, and from here, we're going to lift right up. I want to make sure I hit a straight line at the top. I want to make sure there's a straight line between my shoulder and my knees, just like that. And then I'm going to come back down, touch my tailbone, and lift again. So right at the top, I'm really squeezing my hamstrings, squeezing my glutes, squeezing my lower back as well. Your turn to have a go at this one. Okay, Christina, let's get into the hips raise. Good, so you guys can see Christina's lifting right up, hitting that straight line. So right at the top, we're really tensing the glutes, working that lumbar spine as well. Excellent, we're making sure we're touching down the bottom. You wanna make sure you get a split second rest before the next repetition. So touch and lift. Very good. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Now it's important to make sure your feet are staying parallel, round about shoulder width, and your knees are staying right on top, um, in line with your feet. Let's go for one more repetition. And we're done. Okay guys, we're gonna hit some rollovers for this next one. I want you to watch me. So back into that vertical hold, feet nice and straight together, just like that. We're gonna come right up, hit that rollover, and bring it back and stop right there. Let's go again, and finish there. Your turn. Okay, Christina, hit those rollovers. So straightening those legs out. You can see the knees are staying together, feet are staying together, everything's nice and square. Excellent. These are some beautiful rollovers Christina's hitting. You guys wanna try and do the same thing. You can see she's keeping the knees straight throughout the whole movement. And just controlling the negative. There you go. Push them right through. Got three reps left on this one. Good, nice steady movement. We've got two more reps. One last one. Now let's make sure we try and keep the feet together. And we're finished. Good job. Okay guys, let's get ready for action. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises. Okay, Christina, let's get into them. Excellent, so you can see Christina's toes are pointing out. She's pushing right out, straightening the knees right out there so there's full tension on the abs. And we're going to work right back, get a nice heavy crunch in by lifting the hips and going back. 
Perfect, let's keep it going. We've got 20 seconds left. So important thing with this one, make sure your knees are staying together, feet are staying together the whole time. And we're gonna crunch right in, try and get our knees to our chest, we're gonna extend right out. One more rep. And we're done. Okay, Christina, let's get into the hips raise. Good, so you guys can see Christina's lifting right up, hitting that straight line. So right at the top, we're really tensing the glutes, working that lumbar spine as well. Excellent, we're making sure we're touching down the bottom. You wanna make sure you get a split second rest before the next repetition. So touch and lift. Very good. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Now it's important to make sure your feet are staying parallel, round about shoulder width, and your knees are staying right on top, um, in line with your feet. Let's go for one more repetition. And we're done. Hit those rollovers. So straightening those legs out. You can see the knees are staying together, feet are staying together, everything's nice and square. Excellent. These are some beautiful rollovers Christina's hitting. You guys want to try and do the same thing. You can see she's keeping the knees straight throughout the whole movement. And just controlling the negative. There you go. Them right through. We've got three reps left on this one. Good, nice steady movement. We've got two more reps. One last one. Now let's make sure we try and keep the feet together. And we're finished. Good job. Okay guys, this exercise is a ball and pin, or an air press if you like. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So I'm gonna set up one and two. I'm gonna go into my T position here, nice and uh, sturdy. And from here, we're gonna lift right up into a pin. We're gonna drop back down, stretch the lower back, and lift again, just like that. Your turn to have a go. Okay, let's get into it, Sarah. So lifting straight up to your pin, dropping down to your ball. So what we wanna do with this exercise is you wanna make sure you get a nice stretch down the bottom. We're gonna try and get our tailbone right down. And then we're gonna squeeze everything, squeeze the lower back and squeeze the hamstrings as well. We're gonna pull right up. We're doing really well, we're about halfway. Let's keep going. You want to make sure you're getting full range of motion with this one. We want to get the full stretch down the bottom. We want to lift, squeeze all the way up the top. We've got five seconds left on this one. Give me one more rep, Sarah. And we're done. All right, guys, let's get ready to go again. We're going to repeat the last exercise. Okay, let's get into it, Sarah. So lifting straight up to your pin, dropping down to your ball. So what we wanna do with this exercise is you wanna make sure you get a nice stretch down the bottom. We're gonna try and get our tailbone right down. And then we're gonna squeeze everything, squeeze the lower back and squeeze the hamstrings as well. We're gonna pull right up. Doing really well, we're about halfway. Let's keep going. You want to make sure you're getting full range of motion with this one. We want to get the full stretch down the bottom. We want to lift, squeeze all the way up the top. 
We've got five seconds left on this one. Give me one more rep, Sarah. And we're done. Well done, guys. You got through today's workout. Now, if you can turn your attention to your in-house instructor, he'll give you three minutes of stretching. you're finished for this class guys i hope you enjoyed it if you could assist us by wiping down your equipment ready for next class we'd really appreciate that thank you <laughs>